Four years ago, in September 2017, we came to know that Kyoshu Sama and his wife had been secretly followed, filmed, and photographed during their private time. And we came to know that the people who ordered and committed this outrageous act were linked to those who now claim to be the executive directors of Sekai Kyusei Kyo in Japan. That is, it was those claiming to be the followers of Meshu Sama who ordered and committed this unthinkable act. Now, we have to think. Meshu Sama is someone who taught us to love others, to construct a paradise on earth where all people live in happiness without fear, and to establish the crystal world where there is no secrecy or darkness, where the good prosper, and where justice prevails. If you claim to be or want to be a follower of Meshu Sama, how can you approve or tolerate this kind of shameful act? The very fact of approving and tolerating, let alone committing this kind of act, means that you have given up being a follower of Meshu Sama who taught us to love others and create a world that is beautiful and just. The very fact of approving and tolerating this kind of act goes against everything Meshu Sama taught us, everything he stood up for. If we approve of secretly, secretly following and filming someone, how can we ever create a paradise on earth? What kind of a paradise on earth is it if this kind of cowardly act is being carried out and tolerated? Yes, cowardly. That's the word, cowardly. At the time when I came to know what happened, I thought to myself, well, no one is going to tolerate this kind of act, nor approve of those who did it, because how can a follower of Meshu Sama tolerate this? But to my surprise, many of those around the world who claim to be the followers of Meshu Sama tolerated this act and approved of those who now call themselves the executive directors of Sekai Kyusei Kyo. In Brazil, Europe, Africa, the United States, many approve of the current executive directors of Sekai Kyusei Kyo in Japan, meaning they approve of the cowardly act of secretly following and filming someone during their private time. Some say, no, the problem, problem was with Kyoshu Sama because he was teaching something that was against the teachings of Meshu Sama. Okay, what Kyoshu Sama has been teaching us are these, that we have to be born anew as messiahs, just like Meshu Sama. That even though the physical act of jo Jore is important, what counts more is to surrender our thoughts and feelings to God through our sonen and that we have to work together with Christians to bring salvation to the whole world. Don't you know that Meshu Sama, our most precious model, said that he was born anew as the Messiah? That Jorei is not so important anymore, and that we have entered the world of Sonen? That he would do his utmost to work in concert with Christianity to bring salvation to the whole world? If Kyoshu Sama was against the teachings of Meshu Sama, that would have to be discuss discussed in terms of the teachings, whether what Kyoshu Sama says is in line with the teachings of Meshu Sama or not. Those who wanted to expel Kyoshu Sama couldn't do this, because how can trying to follow in the footsteps of Meshu Sama and be, and be born anew as Messiah go against the teachings of Meshu Sama? We are followers of Meshu Sama, and that is why they needed to secretly follow and film Kyoshu Sama and his wife so that they could find something, some information that could be used against him. But meeting with a Christian friend, studying the Bible, are they using these as the reasons to attack Kyoshu Sama? Really? So the fact of committing this cowardly act is the very proof 
that they couldn't expel Kyoshu Sama through accusing him of going against the teachings of Meshu Sama. If not, why did they need to secretly follow him? And do you think Meshu Sama would have ever, ever approved this kind of act? If Meshu Sama would approve of it, we should abandon our faith toward Meshu Sama altogether at once. What's the point of believing in a founder who approves of this kind of cowardly act? To those who still approve of that cowardly act and of the ousting of Kyoshu Sama, I tell you today, wake up. Wake up and repent. Why did you enter this faith in the first place? Didn't you all want to throw off your old clothes that were covered in sin and impurity and become someone who is worthy to wear the spiritual clothes that Meshu Sama has prepared for you? Never underestimate God who does absolute, absolutely everything and anything to correct everyone's hearts and make everyone holy. Now, yes, to secretly follow and film someone is cowardly. Yes, to approve of those who commit this kind of act is also cowardly and shameful. But the, question we must, the questions we must ask ourselves are these. Can we judge those who committed and approve this act? Can we simply say that they are wrong, bad, and we are correct and good? Are we better than those who committed and approved that cowardly act? No, we can't. No, we aren't. Let's think. Why did they commit or approve this kind of act and want Kyoshu Sama out? Well, because they wanted to do things their way, right? They may want to say, no, we wanted to protect the divine work of Meshu Sama. But I think everyone knows that in Sekai Kyusekyo or Igreja Messianica Munjiao, the one who inherits the sacred work of Meshu Sama has always been Kyoshu Sama. We can't just suddenly do away with Kyoshu Sama, can we? What are we going to do with Nidai Sama and Sandai Sama? Are we going to deny the whole history of our church? Don't you remember how Reverend Watanabe told us that those who didn't want to follow Kyoshu Sama and wanted to do things their way left Kyoshu Sama and they, say they themselves become Kyoshu Sama, believing that they represented Meshu Sama on earth? Don't you know that Nidai Sama said that Kyoshu is the one who receives Meshu Sama's will on earth? Don't you know that Sandai Sama too fought so hard to protect the seed of Kyoshu from those who wanted to do things their way? So yes, they committed and approved this act because they wanted to do things their way, and not the way shown by Kyoshu Sama, who represents Meshu Sama on this earth. But let's think, how are we? How are we toward God? What is our posture toward God? Haven't we always wanted to do things our own way instead of God's? Even though we know what God wants, haven't we always justified our acts, saying we have these reasons and that, and sometimes even using God as an excuse to do things the way we want? If anything is cowardly and shameful, hasn't our attitude, our attitude toward God actually been cowardly and shameful? Isn't it us who actually need to wake up and repent of our posture toward God. Those who committed and approved that shameful act of following and filming Kyoshu Sama did it for us. God needed to use them so that we can wake up and realize that their posture toward Kyoshu Sama is our posture toward God. How profound the will of God is. So do not judge. Do not judge and think we are better. Don't you know how Meshu Sama taught us not to judge others, but to judge ourselves first instead? Don't you know how Jesus taught us not to judge, saying, do not judge or you too will be judged? And actually, it is not only not judging. I say we need to be grateful to them for making us realize our unforgivable 
unforgivable posture toward God. Or rather, let us be grateful to God for using them in that way. I believe it is only through truly being grateful to God for using them that those who committed and approved of approved of and are still approving of that shameful act can really fulfill the role God assigned to them. That is to wake us up. God, allow us to put on the spiritual clothes you prepared for us and may your glorious light be with all.